Do you want to post your first Pinterest idea pin today, but you're struggling, you don't know how to start, you're wasting all this time? Creating idea pins seems harder than it actually is. We spend so much time overthinking and getting over that mental hurdle of just posting your first idea pin. So hey all, it's Natalie Bardo, your Pinterest coach here. If you love Pinterest tips, please give this video a thumbs up to let YouTube know you love Pinterest. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel because I've got weekly free Pinterest training coming your way. So in this video, I'm going to help you post your first idea pin today. Yes, you heard me. These are three cheats that are going to help you post your first idea pin. Okay, so my first cheat for you is to copy a post. It could be yours or it could be someone else's. Yeah. All right. Copying is allowed when it comes to idea pins. And I'm not talking about copying images. That's a big no, no. I'm talking about copying the headings or even someone else's idea. Because idea pins do not have links, you don't have to link to a blog post on your site that is going to validate that piece of content. You don't have to prove anything that it's your content or that you even have a blog post to back it up. That's not what idea pins are about. So whether that's an idea pin of you testing someone else's recipe, give them credit, tag them, give them a shout out, or even just you know hopping into Pinterest, seeing what's at the top of the search results and creating an idea pin for that topic as long as it's related to your niche. Can I give you an example? Okay, so here we are on Pinterest. What I would do is hop on over to trends, okay? You're gonna select the location where most of your people are from, USA for me, and we can scroll down and see what's trending right now. So say for example, you're a lifestyle blogger. You can create an idea pin on one of these topics. Maybe you're into football. You wanna do dinner ideas. That could be an easy win for you. You could even do fall decor for a home. It's on a huge spike right now. So let's see what the popular pins are. This is just looking in search results. Okay, so this right here is a video pin of somebody making you know, fall decor. All you have to do is hop in and create, whether you're using fall decor images that you've taken of your own home, or you could even just use stock photography of fall photos and make a, an idea pin about that. Super easy, right? So you could head to a site like Unsplash, search for fall decor, and look at all of these images of fall decor. These are stock photos. So you could simply create an idea pin using stock photography. It could look something like this. So tell me, wasn't that a super fast way to create your first idea pin right now? So the key here is to just make sure that idea pin is on a topic relevant to your niche. So if you blog about blogging, make it an idea pin about blogging. If you're a fashion blogger, make it about fashion. Okay, that was my first cheat. My second cheat for you is why should you struggle thinking of, you know, templates, trying to make beautiful idea pins when you can just purchase idea pin templates for super cheap and save the time screwing around in Canva, trying to make, you know, some other free template work, which is clearly not made to be an idea pin. So Kayla from Writing From Nowhere created these amazing idea pin templates. They're only 1050 US dollars or nine euros if you live in Europe. And it has everything you could possibly need. Seven different designs, super easy to use. She's got these really great tips. So why should you waste your time figuring out idea pin templates when you can just use these ready-made ones? by Kayla from Writing From Nowhere. The link is down below, of course. Check them out. Can you go wrong with $10?
So for example, I'm over in Canva. This is what Kayla's templates look like when you get it. Really amazing, super easy to use, and it takes no time to customize them. I created this template using her templates. So instead of just starting from scratch, even I enjoyed using these idea pin templates because it saved me time. So why spend all this time coming up with your own templates when you could just use someone else's and create a beautiful idea pin just like this in no time flat, where all you have to do is just drag in some images, change the colors to your branding and add different text. Super easy to do, right? Okay, ready for another way that you can save time creating your first idea pin? How about you just repurpose your TikTok videos or your Instagram reels or stories if you're already creating them? If you're already creating this video content, why start from scratch when you can simply just post it to Pinterest? Idea pins are doing pretty well when they're just repurposed TikTok videos. I encourage you to remove the branding if you can. You're going to want to make sure that content looks special to Pinterest, not like you just copy and pasted it from somewhere else. Someone who's doing really great with repurposing her TikTok videos and stories and reels, I believe she's actually just creating one video and posting it to every platform, is Marina from Yes to Tech. So you can see right here, she's making use of content that she's already created. How easy is that? Does it take that much work to just upload that video? She actually shared this with me a few weeks back that her idea pins have collectively received over 50,000 views. So what could that do for your profile? Could that get you more exposure? Okay, maybe you're saying, Natalie, I don't make IG reels. I don't make TikTok videos. I feel you, neither do I. But you could also repurpose other pins, so for example, I create quote pins, I could simply put those together into an idea pin. I also have my Instagram posts, I could put those together into a unique idea pin. So there are ways for you to repurpose the content that you're already creating. It doesn't have to be brand new. So remember, if you want to start creating your first idea pin today, Stop overthinking it. Just get started by one, copying someone's post. Copy an idea. It doesn't have to be exact. Check the search results, see what's trending, and create an idea pin from that. You can use stock photos if it could save you time, or just check out some images that are on your camera roll that maybe will match. You can also, of course, use idea pin templates. Check out this amazing bundle by Kayla from Writing From Nowhere. It's like 10 bucks. Think about how much time it's gonna save you if you just have pin templates. And the third tip is to repurpose your existing content that you're either sharing on TikTok or Instagram. You can even repurpose your existing Pinterest posts and put it together as an idea. So there you have it. I hope this video is going to help you post your first idea pin today. Get it up. So if you found this video helpful, be sure to give it a thumbs up, letting me know. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel because I love being your Pinterest coach. And stick around. You're going to find this video helpful. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.